I've known that I'm transgender since I was 11 or 12 years old. I was reading the Encyclopedia Britannica and as I was looking through at some point I saw the word transsexual and I remember I was about three sentences in and it was just my heart exploded. I just instantly thought there's a name for this thing that I've been feeling. Over time I got married and on our fifth anniversary I told my partner. I'm using he right now because that's what he was at the time. But as he was, you know, sort of working through this and figuring out the stages at which he wanted to slowly transition, we started to get to certain stages where we thought, like, we probably need to start telling people at work. And what's interesting is that because of this sort of open culture that already existed at Wyden, like, we were, it's so, such a luxury to feel like we have no problem sharing this with people there. So we pretty early in the game got in touch with HR. We sort of like launched her transition almost here at Wyden and Kennedy because we wanted to send out an all agency email. We talked about it a lot and again trying to feel comfortable in the space of transitioning. We just felt like let's just send an all agency. Let's do that. I was just absolutely overwhelmed by the outpouring from folks. I got hundreds, literally hundreds of emails from people just from the whole range of congratulations to uh, you made me cry on a Monday morning. When that happened, feeling that weight lifted that I didn't even know was there is one of the most unforgettable experiences of my entire life. Our team, the Secret Deodorant team here at Wyden, has been here about a year and a half now, and how we've been trying to position Secret is to support modern and feminine strength. We want to tell a story about how it feels for a woman that identifies however she chooses. I actually saw the secret ad for the first time at an all agency meeting. And when that one came out, I was like, oh my God. And that was one of the ones that I sent out like an all agency that I was like, thank you. Thank you so much for putting this, for making this ad, pushing through to the client, which I'm sure was hard to do. And also to have it be a person of color. What it means to be diverse as an organization, what that actually looks like, how you then support people who are diverse. If we are not addressing the things that are, that are visual-based differences first, we will never get anywhere on race, we will never get anywhere on gender, we, we might mask it, you know, and that until we are ready to deal with the truth, and we are ready to actually face the truth and the real issues, you're not doing anything. It all basically starts with the people inside of this agency. You know, the more voices you have, the more people, the more different people of color that you have inside the agency, the more diverse your work is going to be. Workplaces have to evolve to a point where they recognize that oppression is the very thing that actually suffocates people at work from being able to excel in their job as well. What we are trying to do as a global network, and there's a global HR director, is use some of the primary principles and learnings that have come through the Portland office and allow for those offices to make strides in their own way based on the, sh the complexities of all of these issues in those countries. Movements start with a small group of people, and then suddenly you've got maybe five to then 500 to then 5,000, then maybe 5 million, right? Um, we can look at so many movements and see the same thing, has, that's exactly what happened, and that's actually what we've created in this building. <laughs>